Hello and welcome back to Let's Play WCW slash NWO Revenge Part 8 with your host as always, Madurai Bread, and returning special guest co-host, Shelly. Hello! Where we last left off, we got four whole tag matches done in like 10 minutes shorter time than the previous episode. Thank you, countouts. Now, I... Oh, it's the Boogie Knights! Boogie Knights! Yes! yes. Oh man, is he gonna call them the Boogie Knights? Oh no, just, oh. just go Inferno and Alex. Come on, right. look at those guys. So I awesome. love these guys. They were such a good tag team, and they were actually like, it wasn't just their gimmick is great and their in ring, like their added their uh, mic skills are great. They were also really good in ring. Where uh, Disco Inferno had some of the most solid punches and toe kicks I've ever seen. He's one of those guys who made moves just sound perfect. I really, I think that's a very lost art in wrestling nowadays, is making it sound good. Don't you think? Like, yeah. look at wrestling in, uh, especially like WWF, in, I'd say from 1995 till like 2002-ish. Didn't all the strikes and, and like slams just sound right? It must yeah. have been some kind of mic setup they had or something. And like the wrestlers back then stomped a lot more too, but it just sounded good. Like, that pendulum backbreaker was clearly aided by whatever microphone setup they had with the, uh, with the turn, with, uh, with Under the Ring. Yeah. But it sounded great. And that's, like, another strength of, like, why I still do like some old wrestlers like Razor Ramon. Because, mm. yes, he's a washed-up drunk, and he was not that great for about three quarters of his career, but back when he was Razor Ramon, his alcohol alcoholism was somewhat in check. He was actually really good. Because yeah. he had good match pacing, he had a good attitude to him, and like, yeah, he didn't know like a crazy amount of moves, but what he did know, he knew very well. He could make everything look really good, yeah. and sound really good. I like old school Razor Ramon. I, I really like Diesel and Razor Ramon. I don't like Scott Hall and Scott Kevin Hall. Nash. Uh. Oh, Scott Hall. Uh. <laughs> Man, he went downhill in WCW. Oh, yeah. But back when he was Razor Ramon, he was great. Mm -hmm. I really like that combo. The hip toss into the fist drop. I think it looks good. And once again, keeping up the tradition of I kick ass when I'm not paying attention. Of course. Ooh. Then again, I'm essentially against jobbers. I was doing the Orton stomp there. <laughs> Going around stomping all the body parts. I really should do these uh, turnbuckle moves more. They're really good, but sometimes they try and break them up. Yeah. Oh wow, I got a reversal there. I can get a finisher already! This might be a quick match. Just I'm watch. sorry, Boogie say Knights, that. we love you, but we gotta kick your ass. Steal the Jawbreaker. And let's let's do one more face buster. Okay, so we've destroyed him. Why is it always the third one where they just get right back up? Oh, Completely whoa. Noticed all that. Yeah. Caught my arm in a Fujiwara. There, floored him. And I'll squash him Valvina style. What? I was what? weird. It played the Pounce. animation where I got hurt. What the fuck? Yeah. Rope break. You! On the ground! Eh! Need to land some big moves. Like that! I was trying to Eddie Gilbert him, but Alex Ray got in the way. Oh man, the one time Alex Ray doesn't come in, and he kicks out clean. Of course. Ooh! He kicks me out of the ropes. Nice try! He's trying to strong grapple me. That one hit. And actually registered. Nice. Kick him in the gut. Throw him in the turnbuckle. I'm gonna strong air whip him into the other turnbuckle. And catch him in the corner. Oh, he didn't fall. That, was that weird. time he did. Come on. Oh, wow. Alex Ray jumps the rope, too. That's not good. I think I might have to get a ring out here. 
Oh, I'm actually really kicking ass in this match. Oh, he caught me. Good thing you didn't follow up whatsoever. Oh. He's actually mounting a little bit of a comeback here. And I stopped it with a suplex. I'm trying to think of more great WCW moments. So, all of them, Brain Buster to the concrete. Basically every single moment. Uh, yeah. The superior brand of Monday Night Wrestling. <laughs> no. On the ground. No. Eh, weird controls. Eat it. Ring out is the superior victory. <laughs> exactly. Ring out. That's how you win tag matches. Yep. What I finish him with there? A scoop slam. Don't know if it's finisher quality, but I have always liked scoop slams. Van Hammer and Hooventoot Guerrera. Oh, do you remember this epic tag team? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think you mean World Heavyweight Champion, and... Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you don't even need to just and... Have either of these guys ever been a champion? I feel like uh, Van Hammer may have held a tag team title under, like, Freebird rules when he was with uh, that whole army stable. Yeah. You know what Fle free Flea Bird. Wow. You know what Freebird rules are, right? Um. You know, it's the rules invented by the fabulous Freebirds. Who were amazing. Except for Terry Gordy, he was the shit Freebird. Everyone knew it. <laughs> <laughs> the shit Freebird. I don't know why, but something about that makes me laugh. Michael, Michael P.S. Hayes was fucking awesome. Yeah. But anyways, um... Freebird rules, where um, three where three or more people uh, own the the two tag team titles, and any one of them can defend it. Uh, right. You know, like a th in very end of WCW, they had three count the boy band gimmick people. Mm, yeah, uh, they had it too. Actually, three count had an awesome theme song, and they had like an <laughs> awesome look, like it fit them. I actually really liked three count. <laughs> Good gimmick. And they were really good wrestlers, too. It was uh, Sugar Shane Helms, which people know as uh, either Gregory Helms or Hurricane Helms or The Hurricane. Uh. Um, there was Shannon Moore, who I actually really like Shannon Moore. I don't care what anyone says, I really like Shannon Moore. Although he's probably the worst on the mic wrestler I've ever heard in my life. He's hilariously bad. <laughs> if, if anyone wants to know exactly what I'm talking about, look up... Uh, Look up, sh uh, look up Shannon Moore versus uh, Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones, who the, by the way, who's crap. But there should be a promo that's cut backstage right before between Paul Heyman and Sh Shannon Moore. And Shannon Moore displays some of the worst acting I've seen in my entire life. Far worse than Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> Far Damn. worse. It is phenomenal how bad it is. Oh, God. But anyways, really good wrestler. And then there was, um, who was the third guy in, in three count? Um, uh, um, that guy that nobody remembers? I don't know. Start of the K. Uh, I don't I even feel remember. like he tag teamed with Jamie Noble for a while in yeah. WCW. Do you know who I'm talking about? Like, I know, but I can't, like... I can't picture him? I can yeah. just almost picture his name. Exactly. I think uh, part of the big problem here, though, is my cerebral palsy. I can't really picture things in my head properly. So, this is difficult. I feel like I remember him. Like, if I saw him... You know, if I, if I heard his name, I would remember his name, but I don't feel like I'd even remember his face. Yeah. He was the third guy. The third guy. Oh, and then there was Tank Abbott, who was in three count for a while as a fan. Yeah. Isn't Tank Abbott an MMA fighter? Didn't Tank Abbott at one point, like, for a little while, get added as the group's manager? 
Yeah, he was their manager, where he was, like, a psychotic fan, basically, yeah. and he'd, like, go around outside with signs and shit. He was the Lodi of three count. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pretty oh, much, yeah, Lodi because wasn't that... Flock. Oh wasn't that what Lodi did? He would walk around outside yeah. the ring with custom signs? Yeah, he was, it's like, funny the most enthusiastic member of the flock. He was always, like, getting them promotions. and. It's funny, because Lodi was... was actually a really good wrestler, and he was, like, insanely ripped. Mm -hmm. He was actually pretty good. You know that Lenny Lane is tag team partner? He wasn't bad. Yeah. He was he was pretty generic. But he wasn't bad. They could have done something with them. Jesus Christ. Actually, today I rewatched the Scotty Riggs matches with Raven. Nice. Got the story wrong a little bit. Uh, so apparently, uh, Scotty Riggs was on a six month losing streak when he had his first. Uh, when he had his match with Raven. It was Raven's first match on Monday Night Nitro. But not his first appearance, he'd been showing up at ringside a lot. It was his first uh, time in an actual, like, scheduled match, and it was a hardcore match. And the match was, like, super, super short, because almost right away, uh, uh, Raven did the drop toe hold to the chair. And uh, they p played off where Scotty Riggs, like, nailed his eye off the chair and injured it, and they had to do, like, a doctor stoppage. And he Scotty Riggs, by the way, sold it like a champ. Nice. He, he looked like he had an eye injury. So, uh, the next time he came out, he had, like, an eye patch. They feuded, I think, Raven won. And mm. he was, like, tormenting him backstage a lot, telling him to, like, join right. the flock. And eventually they had a match at, uh, I feel like it was 1997, uh, World War Three was the pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. And they had a match. It was, uh, Hardcore Rules, uh, or it was Raven's Rules, which was hardcore, but it had rope break for some reason. Um... And it was Scotty Riggs, one-on-one -on -one versus Raven. And uh, partway through the match, uh, Raven gets hit with a drop toe hold onto the chair. And he also gets bulldogged off the chair, which looked really good. But then Raven hits the even flow DDT, grabs the microphone, starts uh, cutting his promo while doing the DDT over and over. He hits him with a total of three even flow DDTs. And then, uh, and then Dr. Stalbage. And it was like the next week he came back out brainwashed. Huh. Back to the match. I am face busting the shit out of Van Hammer. Now, if it falls yes. in the pattern, the third one he'll just no sell. Of course. Whoa, 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 whoa! Unless he no sells the second one. Wow! I didn't even get the third one. Face buster! God, just stay down. Oh god. Kidman! 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 Oh, Kidman, why you gotta just stand there? Kidman! What are you doing? You're not the legal man! God, did you see that? Yeah. No. No, Hammer, you're not getting the momentum. I refuse! Okay, I gotta tag out. Thank you, Kidman. No! What the fuck are you doing? God, now he's, he's being a kidman. He's doing what he always does. Being a, going for the pins or being a kidman? Being a kidman. Thought so. Everybody's being a kidman. Come on. Get over here. Yes! No! No! I was gonna try and suplex him to the outside. Please just get the pin. This is the second match, right? Yes, it is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Aided power bomb. Ouch. That's a finisher quality move. Eat it. Oh shit. Ouch. Oh shit. That's right. Tag out. Yeah, go ahead and tag. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh, shit. Yes! Yeah, that's right, just get out of the ring. You've only got a finisher. Exactly. Okay. Whoa. I really hate the running uh, back elbow. Oh, fuck. It's really hard to knock people out of the ring with it. Go. 
No. Yes! Nice baseball nice. slide. Face buster on the pad. Ooh. Nope. Get in crowd barricade. Perfect. There we go. Now, I don't think Hooventoot's very hurt. So it's going to be hard to keep him down out here. 14, no. Shit. Yes. <laughs> nice. That was very Kidman style. Yes. Sleep would hold just to waste his time a little. No. 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 <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. In this game, unlike No Mercy, if you hold the direction you want to run and you run but you're too close to them, you jump over them instead. <sighs> Do we just redo the match? Uh... Nope. Gotta redo the whole championship. Well, that happened. Be back in a minute, folks. We're back. So, we're about four minutes into the match. I feel like that's around where we were last time, probably. Maybe. Just been fighting uh, Hammer. He hasn't gotten a chance to tag out at all, so... Hoovy's fresh. But I've been really squashing Hammer. No, don't tag. <laughs> Don't even think about tagging, sir. Die now. Die. No. No. Not nice. happening. Get out of my ring. No. <laughs> Die. You smug fuck. I will kill you! Alright. Do something useful, Kidman. I better get a ring out. I better get a ring out. I know. Kidman, keep Hoovy off me. I, I don't even know what Kidman's doing at this point. Okay, thanks, Hoovy. You hit your partner for me. Good job, Hoovy. Good job. I'm just gonna get him up. No! No! Ugh! Damn! No! Ah. Who was a ninja? He landed on his feet. Get up and out of my ring! Okay. Now we play the waiting game. Get up, hammer. <laughs> ah. I know. I'm, I'm not going to this match. I'm killing him here, outside the ring. Exactly. He's ready for a pin without a doubt with all the damage I've been doing, but... Yeah. Hoovy's not gonna let it happen, he's too fast. 13, 14, oh god. No, they're in the way because the horrible pathfinding! Pull him back out, Kidman! Ah, oh, god, I had to break it up. Yeah. Okay, Kidman, I'm gonna go for a pin. You're right there, keep him off me. Rope break. Rope break. Ah. Nope. Yes. Squash him, squash him. Got him. Kidman, keep him off me. Kidman. No, oh, Kidman. You're dead, you're dead. Yes. Kidman, get him. Kidman. Kidman. Damn it, Kidman. <laughs> Kidman. Jeez, Kidman. Damn it. Get back in the corner. I get him with a super belly to belly. Nice. God. He kicked out clean. <laughs> wow. Fucking How did you do that? Bullshit. No, turn. Can you not turn someone around in this one? Apparently I, not. Uh, apparently you can't. I guess that was added to No Mercy. I wasn't aware. Don't Fuck even think about you. it. You! <laughs> Don't even think about it, Hammer. No! Yes! Oh, close one. Not happening. Get in your corner. Okay. Well, that didn't work so well. Out of my 
way. <laughs> that fucking, if this were no mercy, I wouldn't be having these horrible problems exactly. with getting around the body. Yeah. This is closer to their corner. Nope. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Got him. I started to knock him down and I went too yeah. far. That's right, fall down this way. Kidman! Kidman, come on, why you gotta be on that side of the ring? God, Kidman. You can't, just, you can't just jump it from there? I mean, come on. Oh man. Kidman? Uh, <laughs> Kidman, uh, you're useless. Whoa, he got me with like Kofi Kin Kingston. <laughs> that was kick like Kofi there. Kingston style. Yeah. Oh shit. Wow. Oh, that hurt. Ouch. Oh, this is bad. I hope it's the championship match after this. Yes! 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 Apparently About he kicked me just that. too late. Oh man. I wanna replay on that. Nice. I'm gonna have an aneurysm one of these days with this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Wow, I did really good for flying attacks for once. Huh? Oh, it's finally the championship match! Finally! Tag Team Division is gonna be over and it's gonna be back to having fun! It's Tag Team Champions! <laughs> These guys! Barbarian and Meng! Oh, hooray! Uh, now, Meng is the fucking man, by the way. Because he was also, uh, Haku. Haiku? I don't know. He had like 500 names, but that guy was awesome. He's the yeah. guy with the, the Tanga death grip. Do you remember that move? Mm, Where he yeah. like jams his fingers like up, like just above, like uh, up under the chin, like at the base of the neck. Yep. Remember oh my guy? god, that's like the most painful looking finisher ever. I love it. <laughs> Get in the corner. Uh oh. No. No. Okay. Now, what was Barbarian's finisher again? Running Big Boot? Oh gosh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm guessing Mang has uh, the death grip. Yeah. So I should look out for. Uh, submission shouldn't be too bad. Just because, uh. Kidman can probably break that up, assuming he's not being useless. Yes! Kidman can probably break up a death grip. The running big boot, though, might be a problem. Yep. Ooh, gum with a Manhattan draw. I think, uh, Barbarian's other finisher was some kind of, uh, some variation of Power Slam. I don't remember completely. I thought Barbarian's other finisher was a diving headbutt. Oh, you know what? You might be right. I do recall him using that. I know Meng had a couple. Well, Obviously, I know Meng did, a, Meng did a lot of headbutts. I know that. He might even have done a diving headbutt. I know Meng for sure hits. was headbutt heavy. Oh! Speaking of headbutts! <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Kidman, we're tagging. Yeah, that was painful. Uh, Kidman, fuck you. Okay, well, we both tagged. I think, well, I wish he would have at least stuck around for us to do, like, a tag move or something. I know. Kick out the knee! Oh, he sidestepped it. Shit. Shit. N no, I'm not... Uh, yeah, yeah, I can buy that. I can buy Kidman being overpowered by the muscle-bound Goliath that is Barbarian. Shit. Parkour? Yes! Parkour! I love that move. Whoa, spinning diving lariat. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get one in the back of the head. I missed my trajectory a little bit. Get him in the corner. 
I can't imagine the scrawny shoulders of Billy Kidman doing a whole lot to Barbarian's muscled abs. True. wonder what my other corner move is. I don't remember. Is it a mounted punch? Nope, nope. It's the Tree of Woe kicks. Uh. I like the move, but the animation's not that good. Yeah. Oh, shit. They strike. Oh. Oh. Oh! Knee lift to the face. We're both bleeding. This is already bad. Did you just kick his partner in the head? <laughs> ah. Hey, well, buddy. that was something, Kidman. Oh, shit. Shit. Yes. You know, I have a hard time believing that Kidman on his knees could have enough leverage to floor someone. It just kind of seems like a heavyweight thing to do. Like, Mike Knox used to do that as a signature. Yeah. Yes! Nice. Top rope Asai Moonsault. Oh, sorry. I probably shouldn't have grabbed him there. <laughs> Sick boy. That's my bad. Can someone get Barbarian out of my face? That's right, Sick boy. You keep him down. You're not the legal man. You can't worry about ring out. Oh my god, I don't care if the championship match is won on a ring out. <laughs> I forget. Is Ringo Championship match uh, title hand changing stuff? Does it change hands in WCW on a Ringo? I don't know about WCW. On WWE, I feel like it doesn't. It doesn't on WWE, I know that. Yeah. Like, you can't win a title by Ringo. And uh, also by DQ. Yeah. In TNA, you can by DQ, though. Of course, it's TNA. Yeah. It wouldn't be TNA if you could. Yeah. Uh, well, then again, no one gets DQ'd in TNA anyways. Yeah, it takes until, like, 70 men run in before DQ happens. Like, I saw it was a match, like, a week ago, I think, on TNA. Um, <laughs> it was uh, Joey Ryan versus... Uh, I don't remember who Joey Ryan was uh, fighting. But um, the match ended in a DQ and Matt Morgan ran in and did a choke slam to his opponent. Because uh, Matt Morgan and uh, Joey Ryan are tag partners right now. Which is the weirdest tag team ever, by the way. I think this might be it. Come on, get up faster! Yes! Yes! I don't care, I won! We <laughs> win! Uh, Alright. But right, um... So he, he, he lost by DQ... But uh, when Matt Morgan did the choke slam to his opponent, but it wasn't when Matt Morgan ran in the ring, and it wasn't when Matt Morgan put his hand on the guy's throat, and it wasn't when Matt Morgan lifted him by his throat onto the turnbuckle for even more height. It was when the actual slam happened, ignoring the first, the ref for the full 20 seconds of the guy being choked with the giant hand of Matt Morgan. The ref was just waving his hand going, no, don't do that, get out of the ring. Wow. Shouldn't it be a shouldn't it be a DQ the second the guy either gets in the ring or lays his hand on one of the wrestlers? Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Oh my god, the tag division's finally done! It's over, it's finally over. That means that next we do the TV titles. So we're gonna do the same thing as the last time, guys, where uh, everybody gets to vote on who they think I'm going to use. My name is M D B, and I scored very low. Apparently, uh, Lex Luger and Big Show have the highest score. Apparently. I wonder who we unlocked. I, I see wonder. no pattern. Mang and Barbarian. <gasps> At least they have like actual poses instead of just itching. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, just stand around like idiots. Everyone gets to guess who we're going to be using on the TV title. You guys already saw the roster a few episodes ago, so if you guys need to see it again, just go to the end of that episode. I think it was three episodes ago, something like that. Something like that, yeah. All right. So, just like before, uh, 
if anyone is able to uh, comment and correctly guess who we're going to use before we actually before that episode comes out, then uh, I'll be putting your name and a link to your channel in the description of the video. Uh, the next video, that is. So, until next time, this has been a Dry Bread and Shally. Have a nice day. Bye, guys.